Good day, y'all. We're the Beer and Gear Show from Music Villa, Bozeman, Montana. That's the place. And that is Joe, damn it. How are you? Good to see you. Good so, to see you. Uh, what are we doing today? You know, usually we have uh, we have our nice uh, thing, our form, the, the how we form the show. We have our we talk about beer, which we're not changing that. We're gonna have beer. We're gonna talk about that. And then usually we have a guitar of the week, riff of the week, all this stuff. Today it's the holiday season. It's the holiday this season. This time, so yeah, mm -hmm. so we are doing. Uh, we got a couple more shows before the end of the year for our holidays. So this one is stocking stuffers, right? Mm -hmm. You can see all this low. Look mm -hmm. at this set, people. Joe woke up early this morning. I did. Stole Set all this stuff. Stole all yep. this from his neighbor's lawn I and did. brought it over. It's true. And uh, he did a great job. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna, we're going to talk about some lovely stocking stuffer ideas uh, for Christmas 2019. Um, <laughs> but before we do that, I think we're going to need some beer. I need beer so bad. Yeah. I'm parched from all, this, de all this decorating has left me parched. <laughs> yeah. Usually you're drunk when you're decorating. I know. This time yeah. you got to celebrate. So I hope you all uh, have great, had a great Thanksgiving. Have wonderful plans for the uh, holidays. You I was know, gonna make some eggnog. Star nog, Wars but is I, coming out. I ran out of nog. <laughs> <laughs> new Star Wars, yeah. Yeah, new Star Wars. This holiday. It's such an exciting uh, uh, thing, time of year. Uh, I saw Frozen Two. My family dragged me to that, and uh, yeah. That's it's so for scary. kids. Um, <laughs> this just looks. This beer just looks good. It looks good. Okay, let's talk about the beer. God damn it. Uh, got me here. Oh, oh. Hold on. Ah! So, um, this beer, so Bridger Brewing is our sponsor, and uh, as usual, and we love that. And so they, uh, how come you got more than I got? What I the hell, pour, Joe? Baby. What the heck is that? Big boy. Give me that. But... Big boy pours. So this looks lovely. This is, um, we're the first to have this. By the time you see this, it'll be common knowledge, but uh, they're having an ice show, ice climbing show. Ice fest. Because we're in the Northern Rockies. Yep. They ha We have these things. Yep. And so uh, 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 ice fest, they're going to release this tonight, but they, we got special preview. And uh, it's a it's called the Highlight APA. Uh, so it's a session beer, I believe. That's a good looking session beer. Look at Cheers. that. Cheers. Have you seen yeah. a session beer with that Cheers, kind of everybody. color? Looks like nectar something. Oh, that's good. Yum. I like it. It's tasty, huh? Yeah. It's um It's very clean, like clean finishing, would you say? Session beers have a flavor, don't they? Mm hmm The session beers have like a it's taste. Like a lighter, it's kinda like lighter you, IPA. Yeah. And this kinda has a little bit of that, but the then you have the citrus that kinda the citrusy thing. It's like that kinda covers it. Kind of it's supposed to be a little bit less heavy like an IPA you can drink when you're like having a session. I'm got my beard is gonna grow better after drinking this. Mm hmm Okay. Well great. Well let's uh Back to our next, uh, our now our next section. We're gonna do. Um, uh, we're gonna talk about stocking stuffer. All right, guitar of the week. Yep. Well, well, we have stocking stuffers. That of the, won't really of the fit season. in the stocking. Will yeah, it? no, yeah. but we will have a. A guitar is a good gift. Small guitar if you have a big stocking. Stop stocking. <laughs> why, why, are you, why are you at stocking people? <laughs> There's a, we got this nice app that reports stalkers in your area. Um, Stockings in your stocking. area. So we have a, are you going to do a riff of the week I got a on riff. this guitar? Oh, good. Yep. So stay tuned for that, folks. We are going to have a riff. But we figured a small guitar, it's, it's, it's kind of a festive Christmassy guitar, koa wood. Yeah. I want to be in Hawaii. It has a bow Christmas. on it. It's got a bow. Yeah. So, um, um, and so, but so, mainly we got these stocking stuffers we want to talk about, right? Which actually, I mean, I will say to uh, plug for Music Villa, um, just get, Toot find, your own horn. Grabbing, grabbing a whole bunch of, you know, pile of stocking stuffers. I could have just gone and done this. I could have done five times this much. There's like the best stocking stuffers. Yeah. And I think that's the thing in our for industry. For the musician in, in, in your mu world. Yeah. And in, in musician, music gear industry, there are excellent stocking stuffers that yeah it comes through this time of year what what are some and things musician you like? in your family will appreciate them yeah a lot of um, these little things are things you don't buy for your so, own and you want them and yeah and, and i kind of uh, so they make great gifts and i was thinking about like kind of uh for per what you play for what the, the musician plays da, da, da. but i'm going to start here because like i don't know when i was a kid like my grandma would get me like a harmonica oh, here we go here we harmonica go. is a time-tested old christmas your grandma gift would puke in her mouth if she saw the price of her harmonicas now. Oh, she would. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think these are one of my favorite. Right? Yeah. Well, let, let's hear what it does little... there. Let's hear the action. Yeah, that's nice. And I, I love the color choice you did. Uh, very Never mind. appropriate. I 
I won't do dirty things with okay. those. Um, <laughs> so those are uh, egg shakers. Egg shakers. Uh, I like the classic egg. One for three, two for five. Yep. I like the classic egg, too. You just drop that right in the bottom of the stocking. You need something weighty at the bottom of the stocking. So the acoustic guitar player in your family is going to need this three-pack of elixirs for sure. That will be greatly appreciated. Yeah, look out. You know, holiday season, a lot of, you look out for these three-packs. Yep. They're basically I, buy two, get one free. Awesome. And that's a killer deal. That's a great deal. A lot of it comes out uh, in the holidays. I like this. little care Been pack. throughout. Um... Oil for the fretboard for ebony or rosewood fretboards. Shaving cream polish. After, after shave. Yep. And there's a little rag in there. This is a sweet little kit. That's I don't nice. I, anymore. I don't buy. I don't buy like the big giant thing. I buy these guys, and it lasts me a couple of years. Yeah. So. Little co little kit goes a long way. Eh? Yeah. 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 Eh? 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 XLR8. <laughs> <laughs> XLR8. Oh, BB XLR BB8. What the hell? <laughs> For, that for the do? new Star Wars Repair movie. the Millennium Falcon? Yep. I think you okay. wipe it on your tongue or on your... Oh, yeah. That's, uh, uh, but it, it smooths everything up. You wipe this down the strings, the length of your strings. It's a string cleaner. Good for cleaner. back massage. Yep. Yeah. It uh, extends life of your strings. Actually, I use this stuff. It's awesome. Like, if you want to, if you're playing acoustic guitar or anything, whatever, a few gigs. Hammer your dulcimer. String, your strings are a little nasty. If you let, uh, you let your, your drunk friend play your guitar and they're just, like, gross, Ugh. you clean this up with it. Yeah, you know, say so they've been drinking nog, and they're like. Sticky. I have a guy like that. In my Pizza life. fingers. His name's Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I got like eggnog and, and uh, you know peanut brittle all over my fingers. Oh <laughs> yeah, he's a mess in the holidays. It's awesome. He's yep. cookie crumbs. Towards the end of the days, he's wandering around the airport. Oh totally. Thinking he's got to pick up relatives, but there's no one. <laughs> there's no one there. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, good old Demarzio strap. That's always a good one. Larry Demarzio. I brought that blank. It's like a blank slate. You could decorate this. You could. Make it as festive as you want. You can put flair. Yeah. You know, there. I love these straps. They're actually, they're real. I mean, I'm going to talk price again. 12 bucks. This is a really high it's my end go to because these are really well made. And, yeah, that's uh, actually my, that DiMarzio one right there is my go to all day, every day strap. Yeah. And I like the cloth one. I it's like the grippy. cloth. It's yep. not slippy like the seat. Grippy, belt not slippy. A one grippy. spot is a great one for any any electric acoustic, any guitar player that uses any Makes sort house of effects pedals. Yeah. Yep. These are, uh, you know, there's effects pedals, and if people are, if you know, if there's a musician in your life that are using batteries still for their effects pedals, mm. just slap them in the face with a, a one spot. <laughs> Spin it around. <laughs> just it's strong. Turn the them around, strong. give them a wedgie, and then hand them one of these. <laughs> you know? Wedgie, hand them one of these. Uh, these are they're super long, one spot. Uh, they're really good, and you can get the chain link thing and get a whole bunch of pedals and chain link. Woo! One power, no more batteries. We're having a power party. Yeah, it's power, people. Power <laughs> to the people, and you are the people, and here's the power. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> but these are awesome. Boveda humidifier. They're also very affordable. Great and for cigar cases. Move, man, in fact, I'm going to take these two home with me. Because every, uh, for that every year, right around this time of year, the heat's on in my house. This is more speaking to our northern, northern friends. Anyone with heat, humidity. Yeah. You got to yeah. keep it humidified. 40 to 50 percent humidity. Man, it you feel solid it. Solid wood. Got to do it. You start needing to use chapstick. You start. It sucks the moisture out of you. You get. You. You get those. The, you wake up parched. Yeah. Well, so does your guitar. So does your guitar. So you got to have that. So and I noticed it. I could even see it on my acoustics. Like, oh, time to. So yep. I winter. Chuck, winter's rough. I just chuck a couple of those in all my guitar cases right at the beginning of winter. Maybe I buy. Maybe I go through three, two or three of these per guitar per winter. Yeah, five bucks. Very worth it. Very good. Yeah, so that's a great one. Um, <sighs> a lot easier than the sponge, too. It's nice. String winders are classic. Yeah. You can get the red and green ones and be very festive. Yep. Those yep. are only three bucks. There is a nicer, smoother one with the clippers for like 12. Those yep. are nice, too. But the good old string winder, man, that's a classic. I right? don't change strings without them. I will not change <laughs> strings without them. I refuse. I will not. Well, this is my favorite. This is actually oh, my personal favorite. The pick box, the yeah. Music Villa, custom pick box made in Montana, people. Contraband box. Yeah. So, yeah, this is my favorite. Things you can put all that kinds of things. Made here in Montana. Made here in Montana. Put all kinds of things in there. It's all magnetic. kinds of things. When Joe says all kinds of things, the imagination goes wild. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a little uh, magnetized thing. They get CNC'd out. They're really cool. Uh, fits right in the little pocket of your acoustic guitar. Never lose your and picks. And they're fashionable. Uh, tuners. Tuners are... I brought down all tuners. these tuners. That's yep. a huge thing for... Uh, a plethora of tuners. Yeah. There's all different price ranges. Um, this is my favorite. Polytune is... It's the best clippy tuner, right? It is brighter and quicker. But it's bright and it's yeah, quick. And it's it sturdy. Outside. It's got a metal clip. 
I like yeah. it. But this one's pretty cool if you have like a telly um, without a lot of headstock real estate. You can, right. and, or if you just want your tuner to be super incog, you know, all the people are going to see is this little lip thing. Yeah, that's, so that's pretty, pretty cool. cool. And that just lives right on your guitar. Yep. If you, or if you don't want the real estate on your pedal board of a tuner, you have that guy on there. Turn the volume down. So that's pretty sweet. That's slick. Yes. Um, snark's still the go-to. And I will say with teaching lessons, I like having a snark in the studio, in the lesson studio. Yeah. Because, man, it's just easy. It's good. Kids can use it. Yeah, I think with kids, it's kind of, it is a, an easier thing to read Seems and to stuff. Seems to be the most uh, I've been one, I've been doing yeah. the Diodario one. I, I think I, I love that one. I it works well. I'm Super, attached to it. It's accurate. Um, yeah. Both are, if they have both there, I'll just, it doesn't necessarily yep. make a difference. I like the Diodario one, too. A capo. I mean, every mm -hmm. guitar player. Is Kaiser your favorite one? Do you like the Kaiser? I like the Kaiser. I've gone back to Kaiser, man. I, I do all Kaiser. I do too. Um, and you know, I what? don't know why. It's easy. It's quick. It's there. Yeah. With, with musicians, a common thing as well. What they already have this. Da, 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 da. A, ca a second, a third, a fourth capo will always be appreciated. Yeah. Because you're going to throw it in the case. I can't tell you how many times oh. I've been like, oh, I left the capo in the other case or in the uh, my other pants. You know. Um, my yeah. other my other car. My one of two pants. My other car. You know. Yeah. And my other the other my other Rolls Royce. Yeah, my other Rolls Royce. Yeah. You know. <laughs> So, yep, yeah, my, my other my, house. My summer home in yeah, Martha's my summer home. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but yeah, a, a second, a third, and fourth capo will always be appreciated. It will live with the guitar. That's a great one. Yep. Same with straps. Um, I like, I brought these down because these are great for any, like the electric guitar player, bass player in your home. They're just little friends. They're fun. They're little buddies. They're and little buddies. pretty cool. Fidget tools. From Rockboard. Yeah. Or, and they're, uh, you know, Pedals? they're really cool. Yeah. Little, get your pedal all close together. They're streamlined, nice designs. I like them. I dig yep. them. I'm switching my board over to a few of those, actually. You like that moment. kind, that, that company? I do like those, yeah. What are they called again? What's the Rock, company? Rockboard. Rockboard. From Jeremy. Those are pretty sweet. Um, bag of picks. Come on. Don't even need to talk about that. Picks bag. are always a go-to. Everyone's going to want a bag of picks. go wrong with bag you of picks. You know what goes well with your pick box? Bag of picks. And how. <laughs> um, and how, Spanky. So we've been just talking about all this guitar crap. Obviously, guitar players get the most product thrown at them. Um, yeah, because we're cool, man. We do a lot of guitar stuff. Um, a lot of that applies to bass players too. Uh, real quick, place slides though. You're oh a slide yeah, man. What's your go-to? You know, it, 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 slides are especially if it, it, some a lot of guitar players don't think of the slide or they're wondering about it, so they might not get themselves one. So it's a great gift to get them one, and then maybe that'll be the spark to mm. learn slide guitar. Lovely. I mean, it worked for Dwayne Allman. Yep. It worked for Derek Trucks. It worked for Ry Cooter. So you get the Sonny growler. Landreth. Why not? I see this lit thing. Like you get the growler of beer, the slide, the yep. tuner, so you can go open tuning, right? Yeah. And the harmonica. Especially so you... if they recently broke up with their mm -hmm. significant other. The harmonica, really so you can kind of work, when they're channel really down your blues, and out. you know? Yeah. And there's different right? kinds of slides, people. Real quick. A lot of people, you know, there is a fitting thing. Usually it's here or here. You know, you go ahead and just get a slide that... Talk to the salesperson; they'll help you out. Um, but there's brass, there's glass. Uh, I love the rock slide there. Yeah, the rock slide. Check out, check out their glass slide. It's fun man. to get a slide because they might just mess around with it. It's fun for them to mess around huh? with and try. Much, I love their glass. Slide. The glass ones are great. I uh, super comfy. I wasn't sure about all these guys at first because they got the little groove, they got the thing, but they're actually tapered a little in the inside. They're the real thick glass. You get more sustain, a uh, more tone, uh, thicker, more mass. Um, so I, I really dig these. I like those. Um, and actually, this one would work for both fingers for me, because um, I'm a small swarthy man. <laughs> but uh, you know, uh, these things are awesome. Uh, a slide is a great gift. Yeah. Something to um, have them try something new, and it's simple. It's just a few bucks, you know. So. I like those. Yeah, um, and slide, you get the blues. Full circle. We started with percussiony stuff. Yes. Drummers, the drummer in your home. I love these Promark sticks. These guys actually use Active Grip. They the Active type Grip. Of, the type of paint they use. <laughs> um, Active it, Grip pants. It grips with the heat of your hands. So when Whoa. your hot little hand, the, the the paint will stick to your hand a little better. It won't stick to it, but it'll, it'll grip to Give it. Give you a little grip. Yep. I like and they, that. And they do this weighted thing too that I dig. Like these, I don't know if I can see it on here. But some of them are uh, front, front weighted or back or rear weighted. The violinist. The oldest All right, upright represent. bassist in your house. I brought down some rosin. Yep. Solid. You know, every <laughs> instrument, every These musician in your family, earplugs. For I them, wish for I had, you. 
if I had that in my stocking this year, I'd be psyched. Because yep. it's one of those things I'm like, oh, I got to get those. Oh, I got to get those. Yep. And I haven't gotten them. So Blue had a good... the Tech best. Sears. The Blue had the point that I liked the most, which was for the guitar player, earplugs. For the drummer, earplugs. The bassist, earplugs. What, I'm, what are you trying to tell me? <laughs> Joe's trying it's to painful, tell us something. Painful. And Joe for, is trying to tell us something. And it's uh, 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 two things. Yes. Say it's, it's, it's a two It's a two point here. Save your hearing. Because you're going to want that. Cheers. And also, um, it's it can be painful to listen to somebody learning an instrument. Oh! With the earplugs <laughs> when they're learning the violin. Right. Yeah. But you're trying to tell me that. That's pretty much for or, any musician. They're going to love that. for your Christmas travels, your holiday travels. You're getting on an airplane. You want some comfortable earplugs? Yeah. These Macs You still want to awesome. hear. The, the thing with these is you want to hear good. Yep. But uh, they They're won't, 12 they, decibel. Yeah, they cut out the what kills your ears. Actually, this, has been, this is one of our, like... I mean, this is one of our go-to. It's not like a big cotton products ball in here at Musicilla, right? Yeah, and we've gone through all kinds of different earplugs, and we we like a landed a on these. Abel and... that works here had a good thing to say about these. He he works at a, a concert venue, and when he didn't have those, he the next day he'd have a headache, headache, oh, yeah, you know. Really. And so and, and so when he wears those, he doesn't. He can hear everything the same, mm -hmm. but now he doesn't have headaches. And, and they're two sides. So that's kind of interesting. They're one set of filters, two sides of plugs for your ear canal. Um, but I, yeah, I'm pro, I'm a huge proponent of those. Yeah, I, don't use I need them to enough. get some. If you're playing with a drummer and uh, or if you are a drummer, and that ride cymbal is like right there, yeah. that thing will just kill you. So uh, there you go. Or just going to a concert. Or just going to a concert. People man. are going to the Tool concert, I think, or whatever Primus, and they were yeah. coming and getting those. Yep, I went to I went to Primus. Wuss bags. Yeah, I didn't wear earplugs to Primus. <laughs> yeah, good, good for you. About it. Yeah. Now was that a good show? Oh, it was great. Killer, it was amazing. Yeah, they played two, doing it two sets. An evening with Primus, it was great. Nice. Yeah, one of the best rock and roll trios, I feel like. Yeah, you, know, you, have, you look trio. at those, the great trios, ZZ Top, and Rush, you know, Band of Gypsies, probably my favorite. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Cream, of course. Rush. Yep, you're uh, You know, there's a couple of them. There's some, there's some deep cut ones. But for like the, the super popular ones, yeah. um, and Primus is right in there. The Music Villa shirt. And we package them, people, so you can get them right yeah. there in the stocking. We got you hats. Fit we got shirts. Check out our merch on, on our website. It won't fit in this stocking, Blaze, but... That's okay. You want it to stick out, so when they look out, they're going to be sucked. There you go. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it fits. I'm speechless. So if you, you could fill the whole stocking, that. one thing. Yeah. You know, if you just buy you know, very you, small stockings. If you have little stockings, one shirt will do your stocking stuffers and you're done. Whole thing. Good done. job, everyone. Yeah, you're welcome for that. Um, so anyway, yeah, we have hats and shirts. Uh, uh, check it out, Musicville. Really good stuff. Really fun. And like I said, there's, yeah, and there's like a hundred other wonderful stocking stuffers upstairs. Um, yeah. But yeah. But they won't let us upstairs. So <laughs> we have to stay down here. Um, so. We found these in the basement. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, anyway, so there's that. There's some stocking stuffers, people. And uh, hope that gives you some good holiday give you some ideas. ideas. Yeah, we're trying to, you know, give you ideas for some. Some of this is for the non-musician to buy. Yeah. The musician oh, my your... brother is a guitar player. What the heck do I get him? What do I get him? Yep. That stinky brother. <laughs> yeah. Don't just get them booze. They get booze all the time. Yeah. They get booze at, at the gig. You don't want to enable that. You don't no. want to even be a part of that equation. No. No. We'll take beer though. This beer is good too. This beer, you know what pairs well with all these stocky stuffers? This session APA. Highlight APA by Bridger Brewing. All right, everyone. So, uh, you know, normally we do a guitar of the week, riff of the week, a musical, uh, musical breakthroughs, talking about music and all that. It's a Christmas special. We, we kind of talked a lot so about uh, all yeah. this lovely stuff. So, uh, Joe's going to do a riff of the week. On this lovely guitar that we brought, which I guess would be Guitar of the Week. Yeah. Uh, it is the acoustic. Koa. It's a Koa uh, Baby, Baby Taylor. Taylor. Yeah. And um, what are you going to do, Joe? So, and also, we'll probably if you're, you're kind of like uh, like me, you don't like rapping, get, you're a bad rapper. I'm a pretty bad rapper. Hip I'm a bad rapper. Don't stop. I'm a bad rapper and I'm bad at rapping gifts. Yes. I, um, good. I'm glad. A lot of people don't aren't aware of that. <laughs> so. they, they don't know that. And, and so they keep going with the rapping. Yeah. 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 Um, so I like buying people guitars and ukule ukuleles and stuff like that because um, you're done, done, wrapped. Yeah, you easy know? wrapping right there. And I like to do this one where you get it and it just, there you oh. go, done, unwrapped. Yeah, unwrapped, <laughs> easy. Okay, I like this riff of the week and it, I, I thought I was trying to think of something wintry, 
something that would pertain to all of this. Um, so we're do the Rolling Stones, Head Full of Snow. Ooh. So I, we, I noticed you're in an open so tuning. So you got to go to open G, which on your baby Taylor, you got a tuner right on board, baby. Yeah. These are great for uh, camping or traveling, too. Let's this go is through that tuning. Gift. So we got Expensive D. Gift. So you tune that down to D. Tune the A down to G. Leave that other D the same. Leave that other G. Leave that other B. Tune that high E down to a D. So we're gonna have D, Open G. A, D, G, B, D. And that's kind of, that's a lot Sounds of Sounds beautiful. So let's just play the riff. Robert Johnson, Keith Richards, Hawaiian guitar. So you're gonna have like a little thing going on the, uh, and you, the cool thing about this riff is you can really be sloppy. And you can play a lot of the open strings. So you go five to seven, and then seven to nine. Go up to that 12th fret. And then I like to do a slide from the uh, second to fourth fret. And that one was two to, two to five. So let's go through that whole riff. Da, da. With a head full of snow In the window You know The face you know I like it Don't the night pass slow Don't the night pass slow Oh yeah Slide that sucker I'm gonna slide the change I'm really bad with the pinky side This tuning is lovely with your new stocking stuffer is a slide. So that's cool. Sorry, that changed, I threw man. you off a little bit. There, that changed though. It's cool. Just go to the fifth fret. Open. And then that riff, da, da, I'll go da, like. Da, uh, da, da, it's da, da, cool. Da. You could do this whole tune with a slide. It'd be rad. Yeah. You man. just gave me an idea. Throwing it. Because uh, everybody has trouble with this part of the riff. It's like a. You know who you are out there. Just another moonlight, my. just about a moonlight, my. But you so can do a slide a little... into that instead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah. No, no, no. Do the whole riff and then slide into that part. Okay. Oh, do the whole oh, riff. No. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Woo! Right? That's Woo! awesome. Yeah. Stones are great. They... So there you go. Open tunings. Make that a New Year's resolution. Let's people. jam that. Uh, let's jam that riff for the outro. Because then there's the other part where it'll be like. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm and I'm dreaming. That part. Yeah. Make me want to do that with a slide now too. I should yeah. That out. Keep going, Joe. We're gonna outro. Thanks, everybody. Uh, there's our uh, one of two for our holiday season show here at Music Villa. That's Joe. I'm Blaze. Music Villa, Bozeman, Montana. And uh, hope you got some good ideas for uh, stocking stuffers. Maybe you'll start going. I want to do some open tuning and slide. Who knows? Uh, have a good one. We'll see you guys Thanks, uh, next time. Thank you, Bridger Brewing. Yeah. Hey, the holidays.